In this video, you will learn what is relations. A relations is a set of ordered pairs. Aside from ordered pairs, a relation can be also represented by four different ways. First, we have the table of values. Second, we have the mapping or arrow diagram. Third, we can also be represented by a graph. And fourth, can be represented by a rule. A set of ordered pairs is composed of x-coordinate and y-coordinate. The x-coordinate is also known as the abscissa, and the y-coordinate is also known as the ordinate. Let's say we have the following ordered pairs. We have 0, 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, 1, 6, 0. We know that the first point is also called the abscissa or the x coordinate, and the second is the y coordinate or the ordinate. Now let us name it using our first, the table of volumes. Table of values. For the table of values, we will create our diagram and we will name it as X and Y. We're talking about the abscissa and the ordinate. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So let us write all the X coordinate under our X. So our X are 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And now, our ordinate. So we have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. This is what we call the table of values. The other way is the mapping or arrow diagram. So, using our ordered pairs, let us write it using the mapping. Or arrow diagram. So in this case, we have a diagram which is on the left side. We can call it as our x coordinate and our y are the y coordinates. Take note. Our abscissa is also known as our domains, or the value of the x. And y, I would write here, domain, and y coordinates will be our range. Now, let us write all our abscissa, or our domain. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And of course, our range, we have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. We have arrow, so we need to draw an arrow using our ordered pairs. So our first pair is 0, 6. So let us have 0, 6. 
Second, one five. One going five. Next, two four. So two going to four. Three three. Three going to three. Four. Four going to two. And five going to one. And six. Zero. So that is our mapping or arrow diagram. Our second way in writing our relations. Let us proceed in the third one. The graph. The coordinates of the origin is zero, zero. That means on the right side of our vertical line, we have the positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And upward, we have also the positive numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On the lower part, we have negative numbers negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. And on the left side, we have the negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. This time, we're going to plot the points in our ordered pairs. So, 0, 6, where is 0? x is 0, then y, positive 6. So, 0 going to 6. Next, 1, 5. So, 1 going up. Five. Next, two four, two four, two going to four. Next, three three, three going up three. Next, four two. Next, five one. And last, six for x and zero for. So this is now our plotted ordered pair. So we plot it in our rectangular coordinate system. Then we can connect the dots or the points. This is now our graph. And that is a linear function. So this is on how to plot the different points using our graph and that can also be represented as our relation now let us proceed to the last one we have the rule okay rule or rules in this case take a look at our x coordinate and y coordinate so our rule is if I am going to add the abscissa and the ordinate, the sum is 6. 1 plus 5, the sum is 6. 2 plus 4, 6. 3 plus 3, 6. 4 plus 2, 6. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. And 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. So our rule is that if I am going to add the x coordinate, plus y coordinate that is equal to 6. So this is our rule. So those are the four ways to represent our relations. First, the table of values. Second, the mapping or arrow diagram. Third, is using the graph. And fourth, is using rule. So thank you for watching Senior Public TV, that is the relation.